All right, first flag of the day. Well, that spindle's not moving, so I'm just gonna let him sit and hopefully he'll start to go. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On today's show, we're in Shawamigan Bay in Northern Wisconsin. And today we're chasing brown trout, lake trout, and splake with our good buddy, Josh Tigan. We've got tip-ups set out and we're doing a little bit of jigging. So stick with us. We're gonna see if we can put some of these awesome trout on the ice here in Northern Wisconsin. There we go. That's a pretty fish, isn't it? It is. Now Gorgeous. tell us about that variety of fish. It's called a splake, right? Yep, that's a splake. It's a cross between a brook trout and a lake trout out here on Shawamigan Bay in the Apostle Islands. The DNR stocks them. So we do have quite a few of them. They don't reproduce. So it's a great, great table fare. They gotta be 15 inches to keep and uh, they, they got great meat on them. Fantastic. They're one of my favorites to eat. Yeah, what a pretty fish. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Awesome. John, congratulations. Thank Good you. Awesome. Way to go. All yeah. right. Good deal. So we'll take that one home and eat it. Exactly. All right. So how we're rigging our beaver dams today for these trout is a little bit different than what we'd rig for northern pike or maybe even walleye. We're using a real light leader and you want a pretty long fluorocarbon leader. In this case, three to four feet. We're using eight pound suffix fluorocarbon. We're coming to a VMC swivel up on the uh, top side and then on the bottom end below a split shot, we're using just a VMC live bait hook, a number four hook, so pretty small. These trout are really pretty weary in this gin clear water. So you really want a presentation that they're not gonna see any terminal tackle. So that's what we're doing here. We're setting them about a foot or two, maybe three off the bottom. And we'll see what's gonna roll through on our tip ups. Feels like a good fish here. Oh, this is a really good one. A lot of weight. A lot of weight. Oh, here we're using really light line. Um, this one's only got six pound test. The reason I do that is a lot of these big trout are smart and they're real line shy. This this feels like a good fish. Big head shapes. I'm just gonna take my time with them, see what we got. Oh, it's actually a pike. Nice pike. That's what's cool about Shawamig and you never know what you're gonna hook into. I mean, we're in trout water now, but there are pike around too, so. Let's see if we can get him up the hole here. Surprised he hasn't stamped me off yet. They fight a lot harder out here than the inland lakes, that's for sure. See some pike. Shawamig Bay actually has a lot of a lot of nice pike in it. We've caught them out here up to 25 pounds. Good average size fish there. Get the hook out, get him back. There he goes. <laughs> Gotta catch up to him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> He was definitely on the run there, so. Yeah, we kind of slowed down a little bit. Feel decent or not? No, it feels no. a little bit smaller, Josh. He's coming up. 
little guy. Yeah, there. little guy. You're going to splash around a little bit. <laughs> You know, there isn't much ice out here. We're just kind of talking. There's pockets here where you've only got maybe two, three inches of ice yeah. at the most, isn't it? It's a little sketchy. It is. Now, it's early January here. So what's typical for when does this usually freeze up here in the Washburn area? Um, generally here in the Washburn area, it freezes up usually late December, early January. Okay. And then we just keep going further north from there. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, a little spike. Nice. Really cool colorings of them. They've got a lot of the colorings of the... Uh, of lake trout on the top, but yep. they're lighter along the side. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. And great table fish. They are. Awesome. Cool. Another one on the ice. Yeah. We'll let that guy go. And... Now, you said for splake, uh, minimum 15 inches? They got to gotta be 15 inches to keep. Yep. Okay. And right. the bag limit is five a day, five oh, really? trout in okay. in combination. So you could have four splake, a brown, or two browns and three splake. Get them in there. Yeah. All right. So five trout a day, and really the only thing you need in addition to a regular Wisconsin fishing license here is just a Great Lake trout stamp. Yep, right? it's a Great Lakes trout stamp, and you're set. Okay, you can't okay. imagine pulling that line. Just you bet. A little bit. That's why I like using these small hooks on them. So when they do throw it, I can most of the time get them out. See it, get it out. Now, what age class would you say that splake is? That one's probably a couple years old. It is. Huh? Yep. Okay. He's got some growing to do. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. We'll let him get back down there. Right. Goes. All right, sounds good. Another one on the tip-up. Yeah. Now what we're doing is we're using tip-ups and jig poles both. So just trying to cover some ground. This obviously with a just a single hook and a minnow, jigging with some different baits to see what attracts these trout. And we'll see if we can bring them in. Yeah. Awesome. Now you get some big browns in here. We oh. we do. We get some big browns. I mean, they, they keep getting bigger each year. They're sea frelons and um, you know we. 30s aren't uncommon. They do really? we do get them each year, and sometimes you can get them up to 35. But that's what we're hoping today. We're hoping we can get a couple nice browns. Well, it's a beautiful day out here on the it day. Is. Let's go. Uh, let's go get this one back down. We'll get yeah. it. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, this one I actually marked some fish on the bottom. They wouldn't come up to my spoon, so I, I dropped down and actually bounced in the mud and then raised up a foot, and this thing came up and smoked it. A lot of times these white fish are actually feeding in the mud, so if you if you think they're white fish, don't be afraid to bounce that spoon or any bait in the mud and then pull it up a little bit, and they'll come up and crush it. Four of them down there with that. If you want to come help him, it hurt. Oh no. Oh, that works too. Now well, that is good eating right there. Yeah, coho salmon. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, pretty good multi-species morning so far. We got what, pike, coho, whitefish, splake. Yeah. Now we need a big brown. Oh yeah, big brownie. Yeah, nice uh, Lake Superior coho. This is a small one. Um, this guy will probably be about 22, 23 inches in the fall. But uh, it's nice to see. We uh, we actually have a pretty good class of cohos coming up. This trolling this fall, we caught, uh, caught quite a few of them, so. Good year class coming up. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Cold Nation Outdoors and Mountain Dew. Vulture system was telling me I had a flag up. There he goes. Oh, there we go. I didn't think he was there for a minute, and then all of a sudden he started turning up the, 
turning up RPMs a little. It doesn't feel real big at this point yet, but that could change yeah. <laughs> as we've seen, right? Yes, we have. We took out some wine, though. I guess. Oh, he was going for deep water. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, right nice, nice, nice spleen. That. That's actually a really good one. Fantastic. Boy, cool. they are a ball of muscle, aren't they? Oh, they are. They're hard to grab. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually a really big one. That is nice. Really nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Cool. You know, we were in there jigging in that shallower water, and I heard that vulture system alarm go off. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm, where? <laughs> I looked down there, it's like, oh, here he yep, is. We do. Running out, and here he was. Fantastic. That's a beautiful fish. That's a really good splake. It, it is. Can we take that one home and eat it too? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yep, we'll, we'll eat do that it. one. All right, we'll get him on the hook and get cool. back down. Boy, he took some wine. He was. Uh, yeah, he did. Headed to Canada, I think. Doesn't feel too big. Does it? No. That was a nice slide, by the way, you were saying. Yeah, <laughs> it almost turned bad. Ooh, oh. actually, no, no, he's a little bit of weight. Really? A little bit. I don't think he's going to be anything super special, but I guess you don't know until you get him to the hole. That's exactly right. Yeah, not a bad splake. He might oh, actually there. keep. Nah, eh. it's close. <laughs> if I can scoop him here, I'll get close. Oh, there we go. Actually, yeah, that'll keep. Yeah, that's, that's a keeper. Oh, with that guy at all. Yeah. He's over that 15. So yeah, definitely. Bet. That'll nice. be a good eater. Yeah. Now, what the meat is it pink or is it a, a light? It's kind of like a red meat, just like a salmon, really. It is. Yeah, yeah. it really no, is. And they're oh. they're they're delicious. I mean, they're not that old of a fish. They grow fast, and uh, I mean, they're my favorite to eat through the ice. No kidding. Yeah. Well, can't wait to try it. Awesome. Yeah. Get that guy in hook. Tell you what, the splake are definitely preferring the tip ups over jigging so yeah, far. They really are, aren't they? Looks like a big herring. Big oh, herring. Really? Yep, herring. Another species. Huh. Big herring. Yeah. Going in, I was just sitting there and all of a sudden, boom, oh, really? Came out of nowhere. Yeah, this is a Lake Superior herring. There's actually a lot of these out here. You rarely catch them though. They're not real aggressive. Um, but once in a while, they'll uh, you'll find one or two that will come up and smoke a bait. But yeah, he was aggressive, was he? Yeah. Didn't even get to see him. The difference with these, these ones will be suspended because they do look like a whitefish. But the herring will be suspended off the bottom. They could be right under the ice. They could be 10 feet off the bottom. And then the whitefish, um, those fish are always going to be on the bottom. So. right there but a lot of times what I do out here is if you can still feel that minnow on there which I still feel it sometimes just hold it a lot of times if you miss them those trout will come back oh there he, there he goes he's got it there we go got no him a lot kidding. of times he they will come back, back and, and grab it. it really that actually happens a lot look at that that's he incredible come back. it's not a big one but a little spike well, yeah, that was pretty cool. So he dropped it and you just held it there. Yep, as long as you can still feel the middle. Sometimes you, you don't get as lucky and the middle gets ripped out. Right. But uh, that one, the middle is still there and I see he just barely hooked him there when he right grabbed it again. Edge. But a lot of times these trout are real finicky like that. They'll just swat at it, they'll hold it by the head and they'll take off and then they'll drop it and they'll grab it again. Um, but yeah, a lot of times if you just hold it, it'll come right back. Well, you called him. Just did like exactly that one did. That. Yeah. yeah, neat. Little guy, we'll get him back. goes. Awesome. Well, I got your middle right here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All 
right. Oh, oh, he got off again. There is a bait soon. Just hold it, he'll come back. Just let him have it a little bit. <laughs> oh, there he is again. Yep, let him have line. So this one, we missed him first time, put a new minnow on, he hit it again. Should missed him, him again. Yep, no, hit him. Got him? <laughs> got him? Yeah, got All right, him. now we got him. He only had, it only took three times. Probably a little one. Well, maybe not. This blade can be really picky like that. I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, a lot of times they just grab baits, drop it, grab it, drop it, and it's hard to hook them, especially on tip-ups um, when they're not super aggressive at eating it. But it's like we finally, finally got this one. It just took about 10 minutes. Oh, it's yeah, it's actually a pretty a nice good one. one. Yeah, it's a keeper. <laughs> oh. I don't think I've ever had that happen that many times. Yeah, that was crazy. Jeez. Well, if we can just get him up the hole. I'll help you a little bit here. It's going to go a little bit. There we go. Nice. <laughs> well, our lucky day, not his lucky day, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, third time's the charm on that one. Yep. Beautiful Lake Superior Splake. Been catching quite a few of them today, actually. A lot of little ones and some big ones too. This guy's kind of right in the middle, but uh, we'll keep that one. Yeah, he'll be tasty. Yep. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Markham Technologies and Venom Outdoors. <laughs> there. Ooh, this one's pulling. All right, this one's pulling. Good. Yeah, there's some. Definite pulling here going on. All right, I like it. You know, I, I was giving you heck about that slide job over there. And then I about <laughs> I wiped out right here. Good recovery. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's solid. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, we've really had a nice mixture of both uh, fish on jig and now on tip ups. And yeah. it's, it's kind of just been steady all the way through. Yeah, I like it when it's a little action on both. Keeps it. Keeps you going. Some days it's you know one just tip up. Some days it's just jigging. But uh... now you mentioned the the current comes in and out of here, and we yes. just saw a current change. We could see it when we were jigging. Yep. Didn't we? Yep. Yeah, the current will change back and forth, and that's actually what turns the fish on. The more that current changes, the more they feed, and that uh, that's when you really have a good day. The days where there's no current at all, those are the generally the tougher days. This feels like a pretty good fish, Josh, honestly. Good. I haven't seen him, so I couldn't tell you for sure, but yeah. just judging from the weight, he's a pretty good fish. Good, I like so. it. Hopefully we get a peek at him. We are due for a big brown, I'll tell you that. Well, I can and see. I got a light line on it. Oh, it's a giant. That'd be real easy with this one. It's okay. only light line. It's a huge brown. Oh, yeah. Huge yeah, brown. I just saw him. Nice. I just saw him. <laughs> That's a big fish. Yeah. Okay, here he's coming yep. back again. I think I can get his head turned. Oh, here he's coming. He's upside down. That's a big brown. Let's see if I can get him yep. spun around. Take your time. All right. You know, and that's the important thing. I mean, you just let him kind of fight yep. him out with this light line, yep. right? <laughs> yep. If you got him hooked this long, they're hooked good. So it's just a matter of taking the time to like oh he that's is a big a giant. Brown. that is a big big like <laughs> an brown. absolute giant yep. all right he's coming <laughs> back again Ooh. i can see him down there you know this water is so clear it I can is. he's down about 20 feet but yep well, oh, this is what we're here oh. for <laughs> i'm gonna take my jacket off just all in right. case i have to go down to my Please shoulder after. Go arm deep on him yep <laughs> It's a good fish. All right, I'm back to the leader again. Right. He's coming back. Yep. Let's see if I can. He's kind of right under the ice here. Just nice, easy. See if I can get him turned. Oh, close. Coming up. Oh, so close. Come on. 
Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. Look that at, is a giant the brown. Of that brown trout. Look at Incredible. the eggs coming off. Incredible. Look at the row. Yeah. That is a monster. Look at that fish. Nice Incredible. Job. <laughs> that is awesome. Folks, if you want to come and catch some of these brown trout like this here on Chihuahuan Bay, give Josh a call. All of his information is right on the screen. We always have a great time with him. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Awesome fish. That's <laughs> awesome, a giant. Yes, he is. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and PK Lures. Pretty good one there. My dad thought it was a funny joke. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, not now. My hand's numb. I'm going to get it even more numb. At this rate, I'm never going to grow into that mighty oak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> oh, he's off. Oh, I think he might have dropped it. Oh, good oh, release. Got off at the hole. Perfect. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master.